Welcome back guys to uh, show me small engines have here a uh, echo HC 150 that uh, I found on Facebook marketplace for pretty cheap um, Didn't run but uh, I can see why some of these fuel lines are really hard and plastic uh, and and like breaking off so uh, I'm gonna show you how to, to uh, Clean this carburetor rebuild this carburetor get some new fuel lines and fuel filter in here um, I just want to make sure that it has compression and spark first so I'm gonna pull the, the air box off Get a little fuel in there make sure it uh, turns over the guy said it ran the last time he had it so i trust him let's see what happens let's pull this uh air box off and get some fuel in there got a little bit of two stroke fuel here mix fuel spray it in there i'm gonna leave the choke off make sure that the switch is on That's exactly what I wanted it to do. So now I know that the uh, has good compression and spark. So we're gonna have to clean this carb and get some new fuel lines. You can also see down inside here the tank is pretty, pretty dirty. I'll have to clean that out as well. So let's go jump right in. Let's set this carburetor off and let's see what we can find. So we're gonna get these two screws off here. We'll set that to the side. We have our throttle linkage right here. We can actually. Pull the fuel lines off, which are just breaking at this point. We're going to get the throttle off. We're going to turn this a little bit. There we go. Pop that out. And that'll slide through. There we go. There's our carburetor. Um, looks like I'm going to be putting a new bowl on here, a primer bulb in here. And we'll check these gaskets inside here. And then we'll get some new fuel lines. All right, first I want to check this uh, metering diaphragm. It's starting to turn hard. It's getting turning into plastic here. So we'll replace. We, we'll be replacing that. There's also some old dried fuel in here. Fuel in here. Um, otherwise, not too bad. Let's get the bulb off. I'm gonna get that off. There's a screw right here. We got to take off. Oh, that should fall off. There we go. And. This also has some dried fuel in there. We're gonna, we're gonna have to clean that or replace that. And we'll make sure all these passages are clean. We're gonna get we're gonna get a new gasket kit for this. This isn't one I have in stock, so we're gonna have to order this. So I'm gonna put an order in for these guys when they come in. Uh, we'll get back on this, put this back together. In the meantime, let me check the uh, fuel lines, see if I can get those replaced, or if I have to order anything. And then we'll clean this when, when we when we get the new gaskets in. Right, so we got to replace these fuel lines. We got to get this rubber grommet out. This one's hard as a rock. Usually they come out a lot easier than this. You can see how old this thing is. It's falling apart. not to booger that up at all all right here's our old fuel line breather hose i'm going to clean the uh, gas tank out and then we'll replace these guys i'm actually going to take this tank off just to be able to clean it better you can see the old fuel filter in there get that all cleaned out got the tank cleaned up pretty good um and get some of this old gasket in there but uh, that's not a big deal the new one should seal pretty well um it was pretty dirty near a lot of dried uh, fuel in there so let's go ahead and get the new fuel lines and the new rubber grommet we're going to reuse our breather hose breather cap all right i got my new rubber grommet i got a new fuel filter and i got my tygon uh, fuel line so we're going to run the fuel line first and then the return line and then the breather line I'm gonna cut myself a little extra. You can always trim it off. Right, I'm gonna feed this first line through, add a little bit of lube to it to make it a little easier. I'll grab it on the other side. And I'm gonna trim this flush. And we'll put our fuel filter on. Okay, make sure that we have enough good distance here. We can slant flat. Perfect, right there. Next, we're going to do a return line. 
which is just a short piece that goes just into the tank. So we, when you prime it, it pushes the fuel back into the tank. All right, and then we need one more line for our breather hose. Got that in place. Now we're going to put the uh, return line in, just so it goes inside. And then we're going to do the breather line too. Sometimes you got to cut these on a little bit of an angle to be able to feed it in easier. Perfect. All right, that's ready to go. I'm going to put the, the tank back on. We're going to order up those parts, and when the parts come in for the carburetor, we're going to put this back together. Okay, guys, welcome back. Uh, just got the kit in. Uh, it took two days on Amazon. I can put a link in the description where to get this. Um, comes with a couple parts that you probably don't need. I don't think I'm going to replace the, the needle and seed. It's rare that anything goes wrong with those unless they were really uh, gummed up. Then I would probably do that. Um, but really what I need is uh, the gasket pump side, the other gasket, and the diaphragm. So we're going to pull this kit apart, get those parts out. And start putting it back together. I did put a new primer bulb in, had one of those, and um, basically that's all we're gonna do. I'm gonna put the new fuel screen in as well. Okay, so we need those two, that, 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 and we're gonna replace this. The rest of this, not really necessary. Okay, as long as that's coming up and down like it's supposed to, you can see the needle come up there off the seat pretty easily, and I can blow in air in through here and it comes out. Of, uh, of there, then I know it's it's nice and clear going through there. I am gonna replace this screen. So we'll get that out first. Get the new one lined up. The back end of a quarter inch bit works really well for these. Now, we have this. pump and we have the gasket and then this comes down on top and we'll get the screw in right away to hold everything in place and then we have the primer bulb I'm not going to tighten this right away because I have to get the fuel lines on here and then these thing, this thing gets in the way but I'm just going to get it started okay over here Gasket goes down first, then the pinwheel side goes down on top of that, and then we have the plate. We have two screws holding those down. Tighten these right away. All right, making sure air comes out of that. This is your return. This is your fuel line coming from the fuel filter, which would be that guy. So we can go ahead and put this on now. Here's the parts that we re replaced. Let's get those out of the way. Okay, this goes on in this direction. This is our fuel line. Our return line. And this guy goes up underneath. Choke side goes up. And this gasket goes like this. Slide those guys in and get them started. Now our throttle cable comes down on top. So we got to line up this little slot here. There we go. All right, now I'm going to put some fuel in and see if we can get fuel to, to pull through with the with the prime and then see if it starts. Make sure you're using two stroke fuel. Now we'll start priming. And I can see it coming through the hose already. And now it's in the motion hold and then it's going back into the tank. So we know we're getting fuel through. Let's see if we can get it to start. Make sure the switch is on, put the choke on. I'll go half choke, do it again. Close. Move it all the way off. Idle 
metal as well. Let's put the airbox on, make sure that so we have a good fuel mixture. And let's see if we can get it to start again. Alright, it starts, but uh, I can't get it to, to rev up. So, what that means is I gotta go in here and right next to the primer ball, the little hole right there, I don't know if you can see that, but there's actually a plastic plug on top of that adjuster. So, I have to get that plug out and then I can go ahead and adjust it. So, try going in with a small screw. There we go. You can see the plastic coming off on there. A little bit of debris left down inside. We'll see if we can scoop that out. All right, so this is actually a tiny screwdriver. All right, and uh, what we're going to do after we get that plastic piece out of there. That's just a small turn. So we'll get it started. I'm going to stick the screwdriver up and start turning. Uh, it sounded like it was not getting enough fuel. So I'm going to be probably turning it outward. I might just do it start now and turn it out just a quarter, a half turn, and then give it this, get it to start and see if we can get it to uh, rev then. Well, uh, like I said, that was just a basic carb rebuild, and then even after I got it rebuilt, I still had to adjust it. It's a shame that they they block off that that uh, piece to get to it. But once you get that little plastic cap off, then on this machine particularly, it's just a tiny little mic, uh, micro screwdriver, which you could probably use any screwdriver. I just have the uh, carb kits anyway. This is from Morgan. I can put a link to the these kits. I like these a lot. You could pretty much every one you're going to need. And they're built much stronger than the generic ones. So that's it, guys. Um, it, uh, this is a basic, pretty basic repair. Uh, pretty much anyone do it. A lot of people will just go ahead and replace that carburetor. And there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, although I, I do think the Zamas are much better and um, will last a lot longer. So if you can just replace those, the, that gasket kit, you're going to know you know it's going to last a lot longer in, instead of you know replacing those carbs every once in a while and not knowing what you get. Uh, if you got any questions, hit me in the comments. Check out some of my other videos. Hit that like, subscribe, and uh, catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.